the key issue before the Supreme Court is whether uh, the United States government can take foreigners and hold them outside the United States without any obligations under the law. And all we're asking for is a fair hearing. So the question is whether the United States government escapes any obligations under the Constitution or law by holding foreigners outside the United States, or whether they have some obligation to give them a fair hearing. These justices will be judged both by the rest of the world and by history in how they vote in this case. Uh, they will be judges whether they stand up for the rule of law and believe in it or don't. And that's what our argument is really about. For almost six years, the government has treated the law as an impediment to be avoided. And I think the court hopefully is sick and tired of that and will stand up and say, look, you've got to abide by the law. That you don't need to give hearings or have lawyers on the battlefield, but in a safe place years later, people are entitled to a fair hearing. That sets a standard for America. I, like I think most legal observers, believe that the government will have a very tough time defending the constitutionality of a law that divests the Supreme Court of the ability to hear these cases. Does the Constitution even apply to Guantanamo? And you can't really have a trial unless you know the answer to that basic question. So yes, I think it's a really ill-advised choice on the part of the Pentagon to try and let trials proceed where the government's most awesome powers, life imprisonment and the death penalty, are at stake.